Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPhone features that will actually change the way you use your iPhone. These are really, really helpful. And of course, from now on, you will find yourself using these on daily basis. Now, iPhone has a lot of hidden features that allow you to do things much, much easier and much faster, saving you a lot of time and making your life easier while using your iPhone on daily basis. And that is, of course, everything done from iOS without the need of any app or anything else. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a huge favor. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course, leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot. Now, first of all, we're starting with Siri. Now, Siri has some really incredible features that you probably never even used before. Now, right here, I have my iPhone. I have my AirPods connected to my iPhone. I can have Siri tell me the battery on my AirPods as well as on my AirPods case or any other device that I have connected to this iPhone without the need of me going ahead and taking a look maybe at the battery percentage on right here on the widget or anywhere else. Just simply ask Siri, what's the battery on my AirPods? And right there, they're at 100%. But what about the case? battery percentage on the AirPods case. And you can see just like that from anywhere you can ask Siri about the battery of any of your devices or of course even your iPhone. Now iPhones have this feature which basically doesn't allow it to completely turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth directly from the control center. That's really annoying. If you want to completely disable them you will have to do that from the settings app or any other setting, you can always change any setting you want using Siri without having to go through the settings app to find them. Maybe you wanna turn off Bluetooth completely, just ask Siri, turn off Bluetooth. And just like that, in a second you have Bluetooth turned off or other things like maybe location services, you're on an app, you're posting something, you wanna add the location, but you have the location services turned off. You don't wanna go out of there and go into the settings app. Just ask Siri, turn on location services. And just like that, everything can be changed using Siri. A really powerful feature on your iPhone is the spotlight search. You probably have apps on your iPhone to convert currencies or even maybe like different units or basically everything else you want. You can do most of these things with the spotlight search. So if I go on the spotlight search, you can see I have added 10 there. I can add the dollar sign and you can see it shows me how much they're on euros. But what if I want to convert them to pounds? Let's go just say here in. And of course, choose the other symbol right here. So there we have pounds. And of course, it will show us how much $10 are on British pounds. Or you can just type any currency you want. Of course, if you don't have right here the currency sign from the keyboard, that's really, really easy. Convert anything you want, maybe inches into centimeters or miles into meters. Anything you want can be actually converted right here on the spotlight search without the need of any app. On the iMessage app, when you want to reply to someone and you want to say something about a specific message you got from them, that will be very easy. You don't have to actually point it out here while writing anything on the message. All you gotta do is just double tap on any message and it will show you here, reply. Tap right there and you will be able to actually reply to that specific message directly from here. And of course, you will see all the replies to the message like this here. You can see you tap right there and it shows you all the different replies to a certain message. That's really, really easy to do and of course, very useful. Now, when playing music or just streaming anything, playing anything on your iPhone, from your iPhone, maybe to your AirPods or another device, let's say you're on your AirPods, you're listening to music and you have something you want to hear on the iPhone. You don't have to actually disconnect your AirPods. What you gotta do is just go to the control center, just tap on that little blue button right there and you can switch to the devices where you're streaming that music or everything directly from here. You can see it gives you a quick way here to move basically the source from where the music or anything else is playing directly from here without having to actually disconnect any of your devices at all. Keep them connected but change where the sound is playing directly from there. 
Now, if you're sending a photo as an attachment on your emails, there's a very, very easy way to actually write anything you want on that photo actually mark up that photo you want to point out something specific all you gotta do is just double tap on the picture to actually select it and then make sure you go ahead and tap right there on the markup tool and there you have the photo of course you can go ahead and write maybe anything you want here so let's just change that color so you can see i can point out something here or write anything i want here and then from here of course be able to send that picture or if it's maybe like a scanned document and you want to sign it before you send it on an email, you can just tap the plus button. You will have your signatures right here. You can add or remove the signatures from here or just tap on one of them. You can resize it and place it anywhere you want on a document that you might be sending as a scanned document through your email. Now this is really interesting. When shooting a picture with the night mode, you know that sometimes the night mode pictures will come darker, sometimes they might be brighter. That's actually the night mode working automatically. You will see that little sign right there. Now when it's really dark, it will show you like yellow right there and it will show you a number. That's the seconds of course that it takes to take that picture with the night mode. Now the larger the number is, of course there is a darker environment and of course the photo will come out much much brighter now what you can do to actually manually control that is just tap on the night mode logo right there you can see it's auto but you can switch it off completely or you can change the maximum set setting right here so for this environment because it's of course it's a bit lighter here it will actually show you the max is one second but if you're on a darker environment of course you can go ahead and go up to 10 seconds here and get a much much brighter picture now this one right here is pretty useful you will probably use this every day from now on you just have to basically get a feel for it and it will become a habit and you will use it and it saves you a lot of time so let's say you're on the home page here and you're actually Actually on a page where you have to swipe to go to the first page most people will have the apps that they use the most and of course all the most important apps right here on the first page but you don't want to swipe all the way here if you swipe up like this you will go to the app switcher but just if you do a slight swipe like this it will actually go straight to the first page on your home screen just like that as easy as that you can see I have four different pages to swipe up once and it goes straight to the home page this one I have showed before, but it's pretty cool and very useful as well. Now, a lot of people will, of course, move apps all around their home pages, of course, all the time. Now, we used to do this. We just get an app and place it right here and wait for the pages to move like this in order to move the app. But the right way to do this is just basically drag an icon like this or multiple them and then just swipe with the other fingers like this to move between the pages and of course choose where you want to place it. That's the easiest way to actually move around your icons and your widgets as well. And last but not least, the easiest way to add numbers and symbols from your keyboard. And of course, the fastest way as well. So let's say I'm typing something here. I have to add a number, tap here, tap on the number, tap to go back to the letters. That's not the right way. You tap and hold the numbers and then just swipe your finger to the number you want to add and it will go straight back to the letters. Just like this, of course, you can add any symbol you want and it will go right back without you having to actually press three different buttons to do that. This is the easiest and the simplest way. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 10 iPhone features that from now on, I believe will change the way you use your iPhone. These are very, very useful and will make your life easier. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave a like on this one and i'll see you on the next video